So this month I participated on Wooey Jam 2.0 hosted by Jonas and uh, the theme was intentional bugs. My game is called Virus. Basically, it's a top-down shooter, but instead of you shooting at the enemies, whenever you press shoot, the enemy shoot at you, creating this dynamic where you have to dodge your own bullets whilst letting them into hitting themselves. It was a pretty neat idea. I managed to get to 27th place in the submission, and I'm very pleased. I've also made some connections with people via Twitter and uh, it's really nice connecting with people. So another game jam that I participated on was called Bucharest Global Game Jam, but that was actually hosted in a local place, and which means I actually made a bunch of friends IRL who are also interested in game development. To be honest, living in Romania, I didn't really know where to find uh, the people who are, have the same interests as me. But thanks to this uh, Bucharest Global Game Jam, I managed to make a lot of friends. The Game Jam's theme was repair. And uh, so, because Top Down Shooter was the only game I felt very comfortable making, we made another Top Down Shooter game. This one is called Fix My Mix. So basically, you're a DJ or a musician, and your music suddenly sounds really bad. So you have to kill all these enemies in order to fix your song. We were quite a big team. I never made a game with more than two or three people at the time. And this was a very good experience for me to understand and how to keep track of all the work, everybody's work, and make sure all of us have the same vision aligned. Apart from these two game jams, I also continued on the tower defense game following the YouTube tutorial from Brackies. There were 28 chapters, I have to admit at the end it was pretty hard to follow, but the coding was very helpful and I learned a lot in terms of just programming and also how to use Unity the way it's supposed to. I also started working on Blender, I wanted to understand how Blender works and I made what everybody did, a donut. It was this YouTube uh, video hosted by Blender Guru and uh, he helped me through step by step on how to use the 3D modeling software. I also followed the Udemy course on 2D, 3D physics on Unity. The course was very good. I learned quite a lot in terms of how to use the Unity components on a rigid body, but I wish there were more programming uh, involved. In the course, all you had to do was copy paste the code and you could look at the code for yourself. Because my programming skills weren't so advanced, I felt very overwhelmed with the code and I didn't know what did what, did what and why. But overall, it was still a very good course and I learned a lot in terms of how to use these components into applying simulated physics in my game. Another Udemy course that I followed was uh, the VFX course and I learned how to use particle effects and uh, other visual effects like sparks, an AOE arcane blast. The VFX course was very useful and uh, not only taught you the practical ways of how to create a visual effect, but it also teaches you quite some theory, such as an explosion would usually have an anticipation, then the explosion, then the aftermath. Apart from all these projects that I did, I've also been listening to a podcast called Game Dev Loadout, hosted by Tony Chan. His podcasts were very helpful as he was interviewing many experienced people from the game industry. And I was listening to them whenever I would be driving or going for a walk and I would be learning even though I wasn't at my desk. Through this podcast, I also managed to follow and connect some of the people who got interviewed at the podcast. It was very nice to connect with uh, open-minded people who are interested in the same industry as me. What's coming up next month uh, is that I wish to continue my work on Blender and VFX. I would also like to learn how to use Google DevKit because I'd like to publish a game perhaps in the upcoming month. And uh, some people on H.io told me that I should consider publishing Virus on uh, an Android and that is a good thing to consider. I also like to work more and learn Photoshop. I know how to use Photoshop 
but I like to get better at it. And of course, I also like to do further programming and get better with coding as I'm still struggling to understand some of the codes. So just to recap, I'm very happy with all the things that I've done in this month. I'm pretty happy and uh, proud of the work that I did this month. I'm happy that I managed to network with so many amazing people in both of the game jams, online and in real life. I got to experience what it's like to work with five other people on a game and that, that gave me a great insight on what it would be like to become a game designer with a bigger team. So far, I can make an okay top-down shooter, but I would like to make other games than a top-down shooter and experience more mechanics. So the next game will definitely not be a top-down shooter. I like to try different things like 3D, but I think that has to wait a bit. Currently, I should still keep my eyes on 2D games. From the podcast and all the experience I've accumulated so far, I think it's important to have a good idea, but at the end of the day, the execution is the one that matters the most. I'm very excited about where my journey is gonna take me and I hope you're coming with me as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.